Okay, so I spun the engine around. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove the variator and the clutch so we can get to um, the gears behind the variator and take those off. <sighs> 17 is better, it's not 16. It's not 16, so it's gotta be a 17. Right off, boom. We're gonna go ahead and take off this little, there's a washer right here, don't lose the washer. Right, two piece. Um, this is gonna slide right off, right? That's the, the top of the very, ooh, it's not, look at that. I need to tune this because it's not going to the top. TST variator. Okay, loosen up the belt a little bit. Get the belt out of the way. There's a washer right here. If you have a stock Zuma 125 or stock 50, I removed this washer and it gave me an extra five miles an hour. Um, and then this is two pieces. So I'm gonna get behind it. There's videos out there on this. I'm gonna get behind it and I'm gonna grab the back plate as well. There's a center sheath. This is the center sheath right there, right? And then there's the variator and this is the back plate I was talking about. I want to grab it all at once so I don't lose the roller weights. Let's take a look at these roller weights. Oh. Minimal flat spots. They're holding up really well, actually. Okay, so that is my variator. Bought a 19 millimeter. Um, we're gonna go ahead and take off the clutch. Oh. There we go, there we go. Damn, had to snap that a few times. Okay, so this is the clutch. Boom, comes right off. Oh snap. Uh, I know this is spring loaded, but I think I have to take off this whole, okay, okay. This is spring loaded, but I have to take off that. Set this aside, we're gonna use it later. Let me check the belt real quick. Let's check the belt. Oh yeah, it's, the belt is relatively new. It's in good condition. This is one piece, right? You don't have to take that apart. There's some Phillips screw heads on there. You don't need to take that apart. He does say it's spring loaded. Do not drop it. Just wiggle, wiggle. Yeah, yeah. Wiggle, wiggle. There's just little weights in there or whatever and some springs that's going straight into the bag. He says if you drop it, if you lose it, if there's something wrong with it, just to buy a whole unit as one piece. There's no reason to take that apart, just buy a whole brand new one. Okay, so uh, the idle gear plate. That looks like a 10 millimeter. No, too big. It's an eight. Maybe it's an eight. Yeah, feels like an eight. Okay, so we take off the plate. There should be a washer. Okay, so we took off the idle gear plate. And there's a washer. Oh, it's a thin washer too. It's a really thin washer. Oh, it's a really thin washer. Oh my God. Okay, and then we took off the idle gear. And then is there another washer? Yep, and then there's another washer behind that. All right, all right. After that, number five is the starter wheel gear holder. 
starter wheel gear holder and is that another eight that's another eight millimeter and then starter gear and number seven is the roller oh snap starter gear put in a ziploc bag we're going to reuse these i think the service manual does not say replace new okay so this side is done all right there's nothing else that comes off no Removing the oil pump, page 5-58 or of the service manual or 238 of the digital copy. So we removed the AC magneto rotor and a star starter coil assembly. Okay, so one is these bolts right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two long ones and a short one according to the service manual. And another eight millimeter. Yes. Okay. So we removed the three bolts. Here's the oil cooler. This is the oil pump plate. And Dynamo says you don't want to use a flathead and pry it on because there's it's on there tight and there's a lot of pressure so a little trick that he does is he takes the long bolt and puts it back here on the short screws and then you make a slide hammer so i took uh, a, a leftover nut and a large washer and then i can use like a slide hammer technique oh and it popped right off there you go or you can just pull on it let's see what's next in the service manual Okay, remove the bolts. Number two, the gasket. There's a gasket here. This should be replaced new. You don't want to reuse this, so we're going to replace this new. This is trash. We don't need it. Okay, remove the gasket and the oil seal. cover o-ring there's an o-ring around here we're going to replace the o-ring right new o-ring and a new gasket the dowel pin where is the dowel pin four there is a dowel pin right here oh it was in the plate right here so uh, we're just going to leave that there as is um, and then we're going to replace this gasket here. What size is that? Okay, and I just used a 17 millimeter bolt socket and I just pushed right through and it popped right out. I'm going to try to take a little of that little pick I had before, get underneath it. No, it's not going to work. Okay, I got it. I'm going to set that down. Don't want to lose it. And there's a little washer that goes with it. little washer that goes with it okay that's five oil pump driving gear that's this guy that comes right out the oh I heard something this right here oh wow do you see that see that that is number seven the dowel pin Okay, so once you take this out, there's a dowel pin that goes through, that goes through 
this pin right there. Wow. That was so small. I just barely heard it. If I was playing music, I would have missed it. There it is. Dial pin. Eight is the oil pump itself. There's a couple of screws right there. Looks like a couple of Phillips. Um, I'm going to use the torque wrench again just because um, I don't want to strip them. Okay, so I'm taking the Phillips. This is a PH3 and it's too big. So I'm going to go down to a PH2, a Phillips head 2. And that fits pretty good. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use the torque wrench on this lowest setting uh, just to crack them. And then I'll loosen them by hand. And it cracked it. Perfect. There we go. And it slides right off. There's a gasket behind it. We're going to replace that gasket. I should have a new one. And that is the oil pump. Okay, so there's a bolt right here, which is inside the oil pump assembly. All right, he says that this bolt goes all the way through and you have to remove it to split the case. I assume that these bolts also go all the way through and have to be removed to split the case. I'm gonna remove this one here and put it with all the other screws, nuts and bolts and washers for the oil pump so I know that that one goes here and then these I'm gonna keep separate. So I think it's an eight millimeter is what he said. Snap. Okay, and I was able to crack it by hand, just a little, you know, a little bit of horsepower. And that guy is shorter than the bigger ones, but I'm gonna put it in a plastic bag. I'm gonna reuse these, so I'm gonna put these over here. The reuse box. Um, I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag by itself just so I know that that's a case bolt. Um, but I'm gonna keep it with all my other parts here, uh, all the other oil pump parts. Subject detected, 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 detected. 